It's Reveille. Last week, seven-year-old Akeem Briscoe was washing his hands before dinner in the bathroom of his home in Humboldt Park, Chicago, when he was shot in the stomach by a stray bullet that had come through the window. How does that happen? How is it that a second grader can't wash his hands in his own bathroom without worrying about getting shot? Outside the home in the alley, gang members went after each other in a gunfight, oblivious to the harm that they would do to a seven-year-old in the process. According to the police, it was an internal dispute among members of the Maniac Latin Disciples. In news accounts of the violent act, one neighbor remarked that there were 10 to 12 shots fired. She has a bad habit of counting the shots when she hears them ring out. Imagine that. Gunfire apparently happens frequently enough that she has a bad habit of counting the shots. Akeem died a few hours later in the hospital. He was the 12th child, 13 or younger, to be killed in Chicago this, year's, this year. According to DOJ statistics, most participants in gang crimes tend to be young, male, and either black or Hispanic. FBI stats say gang membership is on the rise in 49% of their jurisdictions, and Chicago leads the country in gang violence. The police have four in custody and are looking for others. Time to find the parents of the suspects as well and put their mug shots up. Find out what went wrong. The violence will continue until the valueless upbringing of these gang members is addressed at the family level. I'm Jeannie Ives. Voters in this state need to start electing people who will lock up the criminals and focus on the family. Every seven-year-old should feel safe in their home. Be informed. Sign up for my newsletter and listen to my podcast at Breakthrough-Ideas.com. That's Breakthrough-Ideas.com.